Mouse models have generated important insights that have revolutionized cancer therapy in the immuno-oncology age. There are essentially two different types of models used in preclinical immuno-oncology research. First are the syngenetic models, in which a mouse tumor is implanted into a genetically identical and immunocompetent host. Since the tumor cells in the host's immune system are matched with respect to histocompatibility loci, this tumor is not rejected by the host immune system. Inbred strains are invaluable for these studies as they provide a consistent genetic background. Syngenetic models have several advantages. Firstly, the host has a fully intact endogenous immune system, making it possible to study numerous mechanisms of tumor immune interaction. Secondly, the tumor is genetically matched not only with the immune system, but also with the tumor stroma. Finally, genetically engineered mouse models on defined inbred backgrounds make it possible to study a wide range of mechanistic and immunological pathways for discovery and validation of novel therapeutic targets. However, one disadvantage of syngenetic models is that you are essentially studying mouse biology. And a caveat is that there are several important differences between the mouse and human immune systems. The second major approach is through the use of humanized mice. In this case, severely immunodeficient mice are implanted with both a human immune system and a human tumor. The major advantage of this approach is that it, it, it involves studying human tumor immune interactions and makes it possible to study biologics that are specific for human targets. However, there are several considerations for these models. Firstly, the extent to which the full complement of the human immune system can be engrafted is limited. There are several ways to address this, including next generation NOG models that express transgenic human cytokines to support engraftment of additional hematopoietic lineages. Nevertheless, there is always a concern for graft versus host disease in these models, as human T cells and phagocytes can target host tissues. Finally, these models are not completely humanized and the supporting stroma remain of mouse origin. So species differ differences can remain an issue. Together, these two approaches offer flexible and powerful tools to discover and validate novel immuno-oncology therapeutics.